Are you tired of being called a noob for using the P90? Do you love getting anti-eco frags? Are you a hard-ass gangsta that ain't got time for these CT fools? Then fear not, the Big Mac 10 is for you. First, let's go over some background history of the weapon. The Big Mac 10, as American as the Big Mac itself, was developed in the United States. It can be calibered in 9mm or 45 ACP, but clearly in game it's 9mm because shooting at armor is its kryptonite. In 1994, the Mac 10 was banned alongside many other guns in the US because the ATF is about as strict as a Christian father on Easter Sunday. So this explains why only the terrorists can buy the gun in game and not the CTs, even though it was invented in America. Now let's learn some statistics of the weapon. The MAC-10 is made of steel stampings, which are relatively quite cheap, which explains its low cost, making it cheaper than a Jew in an electronics store. This also makes it the least expensive SMG in game compared to the others. The magazine size is approximately the amount of empty cough syrup bottles the average African American from the Houston area has. Mm. Ah, fuck. The magazine capacity of the MAC-10 is approximately the amount of hours at overtime the average single father will have to work in order to afford child support payments. Ah, there we go. The damage is equal to that of an annoying three-year-old at a sports event, whacking you in the back of the head with thunder sticks. The movement speed on it is about as fast as Donald Trump signing controversial executive orders. Now let's move on to some gameplay tactics of the weapon. It has a collapsible stock on the back, but if you have to use that, you might as well bring your purse and lipstick with you too, because of how much of a pussy you are. If you want to be a real man, just shoot it one-handed, like you shoot your load every night. A little known fact about the MAC-10 is that if you hold it sideways while wearing a do-rag, it doubles its DPS. Another little known fact is that you used to be able to buy it on the pistol round if you killed someone fast enough. I guess- YES I GOT IT! Mm-mm. Mine. Ow, aim punch. <laughs> Using the MAC-10 is easy for any silver. It's just a cheaper, shittier version of the P90. Its key strength that it has compared to other SMGs is its jumping accuracy. CTs on an eco round are going to be holding tight corners with pistols, hoping to get a headshot. The beauty of this gun is that you can just jump around every corner like an Easter Bunny on crack and spray down any CT trash using his fucking 5.7. Go fuck yourself, you fucking cunts, you broken ass piece of shit pistol. Another great advantage to the MAC-10 is that its kill reward is much higher compared to something like the P90. So it's a very good choice to buy after you win pistol round. Using the Big Mac 10 is the best way to show your patriotic support of being a real American, besides wearing something like a tank top or a choker. So, that's all there is to using the Big Mac 10. Tune in next time as I show you how to use the gay K47, and remember...